Ladies and gentlemen, it's been, well, since 5 o'clock this morning that I've been up. I have um, been trying to take care of a lot of things. There's been a, a whole mess of things going on today. So much that it feels like Friday. Feels like Friday. But it isn't Friday. My staff, who is helping with the trust, the mega trust, They've been dealing with one particular customer, and I will not badmouth the individual here. I'll just state the facts. And they contacted me on several occasions asking me, could I respond to him? I told him I am busy. Uh, what's going on? They said, well, he wants to be the grantor. He doesn't understand why Eon Foundation is the grantor. I said, let him know that he can't be the grantor and the beneficiary and the trustee. That will collapse the trust. That will violate the trust. The trust will be of no effect. He wanted to insist on controlling the trust. See, what he wanted was for us just to write a trust for him that he gets to change. He just wanted the language. He didn't want the mega trust. He wanted us to customize a trust for him and just create a trust that he gets to control the whole trust. That wasn't what we said we were going to do. We said we were going to help people get access to their securities. We were going to help them prepare them for Chapter 11. I'm already doing another person who doesn't even have a mega trust. I was already working on him because it's people like him that I got the idea in the first place because I've been working with this guy for going on three years. He came to me with a mortgage problem back in 2021, October of 2021. This is October of 2025, and he's still in his house. And I'm still working with him, and we're in Chapter 11, and I'm writing his Chapter 11 documents now. No, I'm sorry, his documents have, well, no, we can do that. Give me one second. That a mess. Uh, we're trying to get that site up because I just uh, worked with the site. But give me one second. Let's see if I can pull. No, I can't show you that one because that's the individual. Let's go to, let's go to home. And we're going to show you. Not Civil Rights Act. No, not that one. District Court. District Court. No, that's not it. Oh, it's just before that. The right to access the court. Not legal tenant status, but the right to access the court. Response to the district court and district court documents. That's the paperwork the person received. I am responding back to the bankruptcy court right now on his behalf. First... I'm going I'm to let you know. See, some of y'all don't understand what I'm capable of, so I'm going to explain what I'm capable of. I told all of you, when you're going to bankruptcy court, you don't have to pay the filing fee. Just do a fee waiver. Get it from the district court for that same district. And simply, just go ahead and do the filing fee. Waiver. That's it. The court told him he needed to pay the filing fee and he had 14 days or he could explain why he wasn't required to pay the filing fee. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I simply wrote the court back. Well, I'm writing the court back now. He'll have it by tomorrow. And I'm simply telling the court, hey, hold on, homie. The United States owns the trust. They're in control of the trust. Hold on one second that ladies and gentlemen my apologies i am like i said i'm tired so i hit the wrong button but we're not going to start it over i'm going to splice the two videos together and get it done that way sorry i have um i live in an area where there's a lot of rodents and i'm getting to the point to where i've had enough now that doesn't mean that i don't like the fuzzy little furry little creatures. It's just they're causing damage and the type of damage they're causing cannot be allowed because it's too much damage. And so we have to um, do some checks and balances. So I'm balancing the checks and they gotta go. And here is the bad part about it is, I am so tired that I misplaced my spectamacos. So now I gotta pull out the new ones. Because I don't know what I did with them. I was just so tired, y'all. All right, let's get back to this individual, if y'all don't mind. Ladies and gentlemen, I had ChatGPT. I went to ChatGPT and I said, hey, hold on. Let me show you what I asked it. 
I said, what powers does a grantor have over a trust after the trust has been initiated? Because everybody wants to be a grantor. Everybody wants to be, because they think the grantor is in control. They think the grantor has all the power. So I told him, I said, it's obvious because we'd had several conversations. He'd been going back and forth. And I told him, I don't have time for the back and forth. People email me and they want me to have a conversation with them. I don't have time for no conversations. I told this to the individual and he continued to want to have conversations and he wants to talk about being upset and irate because I wasn't cordial with him. Ladies and gentlemen, with my organizations, I put people in front of me so that you will be speaking with them because they're the nice ones. They're the ones who are going to provide you customer service. I am not here to provide you customer service with any of the organizations I run. When you come to me, you're now dealing with legal. You're dealing with admin. I don't have time for cordial. My staff has already talked to you. They have already tried to be cordial. You exhausted cordial once you get to me. Now, there are some people who have a legitimate complaint. They get to me and I'm like, wait a minute. They did what? Oh, no, no, no. My staff ain't allowed. No, they ain't allowed to do that. Sorry, I almost sat on my glasses. <laughs> I found them. Lord have mercy. I ain't supposed to be sitting them there on the seat. It's dark in here. I don't have no lights on. I just have the monitor for the cameras and the uh, computer on. Ain't no other lights on it except for the, there's a, uh, what do you call it? A clock, a weather clock that has a pretty bright light, but it, it ain't that bright. Well, anyway. So I told him I didn't have time. I asked him to please stop. So the staff provided him an answer. I said, you can't be the grand tour. I said, that's why I did the video yesterday. So I did a video yesterday, especially because of you, to let you and everybody else know that we don't want your property. We're not trying to take your property, but you can't be the grand tour because it's a circular issue. We don't want you to be involved in somebody canceling your trust because of circular. Then you're going to blame us. Why didn't, why didn't you tell me? So, ladies and gentlemen, the individual decided to ask for a refund. Told him you can't get a refund. You already got the trust. The majority of the work is already done. You already got that. They've already started working on your corporation and so forth. So he contacted his bank and told his bank that we failed to provide the services that we promised. I tried to tell the young man. I said, look, you can go ahead and you can do the arbitration. What you guys don't know is even though the EM Foundation is the Arbitration Association, I don't do arbitrations for the EM Foundation. I outsource it always. They don't get to rule in my favor because it's the EM Foundation. Never. I would never allow that. I said, if you do have a legitimate grievance and we're wrong, then arbitrate. And the arbitrator will make a just decision and we're bound by it. People? He chose to go to his bank, but he doesn't know that he's under contract. Go back and read. Even the trust that we sent you has an arbitration agreement. Any disputes regarding that arbitration agreement or that trust has to go through arbitration. Lord have mercy, that's why the trust works. He violated the terms of the trust. He thinks that all we're going to do is just cancel his trust. Yes, we are going to cancel the trust. That is a mandatory thing. I gave him until Monday to correct the problem. I told him he has until Monday. This is what I sent him. My battery on my, my uh, Bluetooth is going out, so hold on now. The powers of a grant over a trust are initially very significantly, excuse me, depending on the type of trust. They said irrevocable trust. They ain't talking about no revocable trust. Irrevocable trust. They said he's got limited powers to amend. It's an irrevocable trust, you idiot. Nobody's got the power to amend an irrevocable trust. These are irrevocable trusts, ladies and gentlemen. So I told him, give me a second. I was supposed to say you're a liar, but it, 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 the AI system won't let me use words like idiot and liar anymore. It always changes the word up. It's been doing that on a regular basis. It doesn't want me calling them idiots and liars anymore. But I said, you're a liar. The grantor has no powers once the trust has been established. Now, he can change trustees. And you guys with the mega trust, you can change the trustees. But nobody understands the power is not in the mega trust. The power is in the micro trust. The mega trust protects the micro trust, but the micro trust has all the power. The mega trust is the grantor of the micro trust. Lord have mercy. 
we explained all that. We give a cover letter explaining this. Well, I was reading through this real soon, blah, blah, blah. I saw you were reading through it. Good. You're supposed to read through it. Well, I don't feel comfortable. This ain't about your comfort. It has nothing to do with your comfort. This is about the beneficiary's comfort. And the trust protects the beneficiary's rights. You're the trustee. Carry out your duties, trustee. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Lord have mercy. He doesn't even realize he's the trustee and the beneficiary. The trustee has all the power. Hold on now. You heard what I just said, right? The trustee has all the power. Now let's let's prove this. It's an irrevocable trust. You are correct. In general, the grantor of an irrevocable trust relinquishes control over the trust once it's established. Here are a couple of key points. The grantor's powers an irrevocable trust. No power to amend or revoke. No control over the trust assets. No power to change the beneficiary. He does have some direct power over the trustee to change the trustee, but he has no direct power over the trustee. The trustee's duties are spelled out in the trust. These are the maxims, ladies and gentlemen. This individual wanted us to make him grantor to take away all of his powers because he thought the grantor has all the power. I tried to tell him and he wouldn't listen. Here I am, 11 o'clock at night, and I got to get up at 4. 11 o'clock at night. But I'm spending dealing with that person. And now I got to deal with my bank because, see, not only do they charge us for every transaction, so they charge us for taking the money out of the account. They take a temporary, they put a temporary hold on the money. So they charge us for that. And then, pay attention, they charge us for the initial transaction, him bringing the money into the account. Ain't that something? So this individual thinks I'm going to let him. There's another young lady who did the same thing. Two people. Because they don't know what they're getting. Because they are just wanting to click on a button. Since we told everybody, you must understand something about trust before you get this. Because this is your benefit. This is for your benefit. We're going after the securities held in a minor account. As I told you about the bankruptcy court and the video that I'm splicing with this, the United States has control over the bankruptcy estate. Well, since the United States is involved, you can't charge the trust. <laughs> the United States is immune from such charges. You better go take a look. The trust is controlled by the United States. It's technically owned by the United States until I gain control over it. So you can't charge me for that. That's his response to the court. And we're asking for an evidentiary hearing. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, I really am so busy. I have several lawsuits that I'm working on, several lawsuits in the court. These are major lawsuits, and the courts are already starting to try to give me problems, and I'm checking them because I don't have time for this. I don't have time for those type of problems, but we have individuals who want to waste my time. We have people who are emailing me asking several questions, and then I respond to them, tell them that's it, that's final, and then they want to ask more questions. So I'm about to put an end to people asking me questions through email. I'm about to take that completely away from you guys since you're abusing that privilege. I don't let no comments be underneath the video, so people are commenting through emails and Telegram and so forth. People, you need to stop. I'm very, very, very strict about that. Some of you are ignoring me, so I'm literally saying stop. I asked that gentleman to stop. I told him, please stop. I, I literally, I said, please stop. Now he's going to cause me to bring a suit against him after we do an arbitration against him. We have all of the communications. Our company, our organizations communicate with you on purpose to document everything. We document everything, every communication. We do that for your protection as well as ours. So that if we do something wrong, we have to make efforts to correct it. That's why I require documentation. If it's our fault, we will correct it. This is why having intelligent people out there talk about me and my organization scamming people, they ain't got no proof of that. We There's too much effort going here, too much sleepless nights. You should see some of these staff members, how personal they're taking some of this and helping you guys. So no, I, there is no way in the world I'm going to let somebody disrespect one of our staff members, especially when they have tried to help the people. And that's what this individual was doing. He says he wasn't doing it, and I told him it doesn't matter if he feels that he did or didn't do it. That's not the point. 
I said, they gave you a response. And it was the correct response. And he wanted to argue. Then he's going to try to tell me how a trust is supposed to operate. And I told him, how are you, the novice, going to tell me? And, of course, pride stepped in, and he wanted to try to tell me what he wanted. He wanted us to change our whole program for him. Ladies and gentlemen, I've already told you, this is a house that Jack built. Ain't nobody doing no remodeling around here. Jack ain't allowing no remodeling. And now people want Bill to step up. And y'all heard what they say about messing with Bill. Because Bill, he do the court thing. Bill ain't got time. Bill will sue you in your own state. Bill don't have a problem. And then Bill will do all of the other technical things he knows how to do. And then he'll sell the debt to a debt collector. And then let you deal with that person. And he won't just do anyone. He'll do the ones out there that he knows are sitting up there getting on your last nerve. And then he will start garnishing. Because I will go after wages. I promise you. I don't want to do things like that. But some people want to test me. And I'm sorry, but they will cause me to... I said this is the year of the lawsuit, and people don't understand me. When I say I got seven suits I'm filing this year, and I've already filed five, and I got two more to file, I'm working on one now. So, to put things in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen, we will keep our word. But that gentleman just had me put together a whole page and that's why I say I can't show it to you but a whole document full of information all the communications including what the website says as far as no refunds it's not that we don't want to give people something or want to take something away from you we have no refund policy because we start working on your stuff immediately even before the funds clear we said we would do that and we explained that's why there can't be any refunds because we've already started the work. We know that some of you, all you want is the documents so that you can start your own little program and then you want to cancel and you want a refund. We knew that people would do that. That's why there was a no refund policy from the very beginning because we knew that that's what people were going to do. We know people have their own organizations out there. We're hearing all this talk about trust all of a sudden after we started the mega trust. Everybody's talking about trust, but nobody has what we have. Go ahead, I dare you. Find somebody who has a trust that's more powerful than ours. Somebody just talked to me the other day, and then I'm going to let you guys go. But he says, I was looking at the uh, Belize Trust. I said, no, you don't want a Belize Trust. It's, uh, it's a copycat of the Nevis Trust, but the Nevis Trust is a little bit stronger. He says, yeah, I, I saw that. I just thought that you know, I'd tell you about it, but I figured you already knew. I said, yeah, uh, we know about that. I said, we looked into that in 2012 and then again in 2016. And then he talked about how the trust for the Caymans said, I think it's $60,000. I said, I told that to you guys. I said, everybody is anywhere from thirty dollars to $60,000 for an actual trust. And I said, you guys are getting something that's more powerful than theirs. Why? Because your trust has several aspects of other trusts involved. And it involves the infant estate and it involves <sighs> spendthrift. So it's a combination of at least seven different trusts. Plus, you also have the arbitration agreement and eight other different items, including a power of attorney. So that's what we're doing for you. Again, I apologize if we're doing too much and it's confusing you. But know that it's in your best interest, not ours. We're not doing this for ourselves. If we were doing this for ourselves, I wouldn't be doing these hours that I'm doing. I'm the guy who has chronic fatigue syndrome and muscular dystrophy. So why am I putting in all these hours? Because of you people. Okay. All right. I just had to let you guys know what was going on in the background. See, look, hold on. I haven't disrespected anybody. I haven't talked about anybody. I haven't said nobody's names. Now, that person is going to be offended. I don't care if he's offended. I haven't mentioned his name. So he can't be offended. How does he know who I'm talking about? Oh, I'm the woman. Then that's your problem for taking it personal because nobody mentioned your name, so it's not about you. I'm talking to them. I'm not talking to you. It's not about her. You guys know the song. Hey, take care, everybody.
Gotta go.